Hey, it's Claude Johnson here from GuitarControl.com and uh, one of my favorite topics is bending strings. So if you're playing lead guitar, it's very common you're going to actually bend Okay, so the technique is, uh, is pretty straightforward. Um, first band you should probably try, let's, uh, let's make it easy on you. The higher up the neck you go, the easier it is usually. If you're way down here, you need more strength. So let's go all the way up to this E pentatonic position. And you know, that reminds me, like bends are, go great with the pentatonic scale. So you want to learn your basic. So we're in the key of E, 12th fret, 12th to 15th, right? 12th to 14th. And then the top two strings. So what we'll do is we'll get the uh, 14th fret G string, and we're gonna bend up from here to this pitch. Okay? And, uh, you know, when you get used to this, you don't really have to think too much about it. You can just kind of, you know, use your ear and play by feel. But in the beginning, what you can do to make sure you're bending on pitch, play the note, and then play the note you want to bend to, and then make sure you match it with your ear. Okay? Later on, you don't have to worry about hitting it like exactly on that, that micro tuning exact you know thing you can just whatever sounds good to your ear all right so now what i'm doing my ring fingers on the 14th fret but then my other two fingers are behind it on the same string uh so my middle fingers on the 13th fret and then my first fingers on the 12th fret so i've got all three fingers using the strength of my whole hand it's called reinforced bending because i'm reinforcing it's much easier than just trying to do one finger, okay? And usually you're always going to be bending up toward up toward the sky. You can also bend by pulling it down, but that's kind of a different technique. Um, so, let's see. Uh, there's all kinds of bends. You can bend up. Uh, you can uh, bend it first and release. That's like a, called a pre-bend. You can uh, do a multiple bend. Pretty cool. Um, let's see, another bend here would be like the 15th fret. And we're gonna bend up again. Okay. And you can get all kinds of cool blues licks, you know. And you can also bend like, you know, quickly or slowly. And the different, the different ways you can do it are, are part of your phrasing, okay? So, let's see, you can also add vibrato, it's a little bit more difficult, but you bend up, and then you're gonna shake the note. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? Uh, you can also just bend up like one fret, so for example, um, So we're bending from here up to here. Try this lick with me. Bend, release, and vibrato. Okay? Uh, so yeah, you, you really want to work on your vibrato, which is shaking in the note because the bends and vibrato go great together, whether it's just, you know, bend and vibrato or if it's bending and then going into a vibrato. Um, but don't forget to, to reinforce the bend, check your pitches, and just uh, and just play by ear. And then just try to play a couple blues licks. Um, the most, if you're in this position, uh, you can bend either the G string, 14th fret, B string, 15th fret, 
or at high E string 15th fret. Okay? So you can also do bends on the lower strings, but for, for right now, just stick to those three bends. So uh, that's string bending 101. Uh, I'm sure I forgot a couple tips, but uh, if you want to get the full meal deal on uh, lead guitar, string bending, pentatonics, all the, all the techniques you need to know, just check out uh, guitarcontrol.com slash lead and uh, I'll hook you up. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.